Hi everybody, this is Maddie and welcome back to my channel. But if you're new, just welcome to my channel. Before we get into everything, first make sure to like this video if you end up enjoying it. Comment whatever you want to comment, it's really up to you. Uh, subscribe for more of my content and turn on that bell to know when I post. It's every Thursday, but you might forget, so you should totally turn that on. Um, and also make sure to follow my two Instagrams, my beauty one, which is modified makeup by mad, and then my personal one, which is Madeline McBride underscore. I got my November Ipsy bag. I get the Ipsy Plus or whatever. And I usually would just make a video unboxing everything and talking about it, but I feel like there wasn't enough content there. You know what I mean? And I was like, I want it to be more hands-on. And like, I want you all to see how this stuff works. So what we're gonna do is, is I'm gonna go throughout my makeup routine slash kind of like self-care routine and then like incorporate all of my new products in there so you guys can see how they work all together. Um, I'm not gonna do a full, I mean it will be a makeup tutorial, but I'm gonna speed up a lot of it because if I talk through every single thing of my makeup, this is gonna be a long ass video. So I'm just gonna like speed through everything else. I'll put what products I use at the bottom, but then I'll actually talk about the stuff I got in my Ipsy bag. You feel me? So yeah, that's what we're doing today, um, and I'm pretty hype. I'm getting ready because I'm having a date night with my boyfriend because, you know, we're cute. This is what the bag looks like this month. The cute, like, just like tri-color bag. I can't stand myself. Like, um, I got five full-size products for $25 a month. But the first thing we're gonna start off with is, are these face masks by Honey Jarrett. They gave me a fuck ton of them. Uh, usually they just give me three, so I'm gonna see what we are working with here. They gave me two packs of three it looks like so i have six in total which is a lot are they all the same kind i don't know if there's different flavors but let me see rose 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 that's my middle name rose 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 um yeah these are all rose so i got six rose masks the super beauty mask uh okay so we're gonna put on this face mask first before i get started with my makeup so it's the selected premium tea in rose extract contains antioxidant and brightening calming effects which allows the skin to stay moisturized and rejuvenated i need my skin to be moisturized um probably not so much on the forehead but definitely like around here so hopefully this helps oh Honey, this girl just squirted everywhere. I just opened it. I'm lazy as hell and I love uh, sheet masks because I don't like spreading masks on my face. Uh, that's how low the bar is right now during quarantine. Oh, it's cold, it's cold, it's cold. I hate being cold. So I have the face mask on and it's covering my lip. We're gonna leave this on for uh, 20 minutes. The timer just started and then I'll be back and I'll talk about how it's making me feel, you know? Jesus. So, first thing that I ran into personally was when I put it on, it was so damn wet that it dripped down into my right eye and I wanted to die. So, that's it. Um, it feels nice though. I mean, there's definitely a lot of product I'm gonna try to rub in so like my makeup isn't like sopping off my face. So we're gonna try putting some of this on my neck. A little neck moment. Very nice feeling except for when I almost went blind. Alright, so I'm going to continue with the rest of my makeup and I'll come back when a product is new and I'm going to talk about it. Great, so all I did was prime my face, um, and another new thing that I got in the November Ipsy bag this month was some new brushes by La Rouge, La Rousse, La Rook. I, um, am not tasteful by any means, but, um, I did my best. Um, so these brushes are vegan, cruelty-free, hypoallergenic, and they are synthetic 
brushes. Okay, cool. Um, they look really nice. I kind of gave them a little glance last night, so I'll show you guys what we're working with. So they're all face brushes. Um, so the one that we're going to be using first is the Kabuki brush. It looks like this. It has like a little spiky studded handle. And then there's three other ones. So this is just like a general face powder brush. It's called the Tapered Face. This one I would probably use for blush personally, but they call it the Contour Blending. And then the last one, which I would definitely use for powdered contour, contour. Um, this is the flat angle brush. So we have a new collection of face brushes to work with. We're going to start with the Kabuki brush and we're going to try to put my foundation on with this. And this is going to be hard because I use the same foundation brush all the time when I'm putting on my foundation. If I keep looking over here, I'm like looking in the mirror, looking at myself. I need to look at a lot. Okay. The foundation that I use, by the way, is the L'Oreal Paris Infallible Pro Matte Foundation in the shade Shell Bay for my pale ass and then I just apply this usually with a kabuki type brush let's see if this one is good it definitely is a little smaller than the brushes I would brush than the brushes I would usually use for foundation but I really like it because it's kind of like it's just making my foundation go on really nicely I have very nice coverage and also this is a new bottle of foundation I bought a couple days ago because I ran out but still it's the same products work on little miss forehead that's where we're breaking out at really badly. That just means I'm still young. That's what my mom always tells me, right? I'm just still young and zitty and disgusting. Please remember to get your neck, by the way, everybody. Um, that's a big fucking problem I see a lot personally and it drives me fucking bonkers. It seems like I have to use a lot less product. I put a lot on my hands so I'm just gonna put the extra where I have like a lot of red spots at which is usually kind of around like my nose area. You know what I mean? It doesn't absorb a lot of it which kind of drives me crazy when brushes do that because we're on a budget and I can't be going and giving all my shit to my brushes quite honestly. Moving right along I'm going to do my concealer and then I'll come back again when I have to do my cream contour because I'm going to have to try to use that brush once more. Okay, cool. So I did my little stinky concealer. So now I go in with my cream contour and then I'm going to use this kabuki brush again because when I do my normal makeup, I use my kabuki brush to blend out my cream contour. I don't know if that's right, but it's what I do. So I use the Trustique um, stick. I don't know what the hell it's called. Uh, color contour cheek stick in Brazilian bronze. It comes with a brush. It's honestly trash. Draw it on like that. And let's see if this if this brush can handle blending this. I don't really have honestly any complaints. It looks like it's doing what it needs to. Usually when I have excess on the brush, I just kind of put it on my forehead. Honestly, really love how it's blending out this cream contour. Sometimes like my brush that I use can make it look a little streaky. Now we're gonna do powder, which I don't really use a powder brush, but I use a powder brush to get the excess off. So I guess we'll use the big powder brush they gave me for that. For powder, I just use baby powder in a Tupperware because uh, we, we, we on that shit. I just usually put it on my eyes just for a nice base for when I do my eyeshadow and then just kind of blend it elsewhere. I notice I tend to look cakey. If I keep like dipping back into this, I only dip into it twice and I start on my eyes and just put the excess on the rest of my face. And then like I said, I don't really use powder brushes, but I just want to say I used the brush they gave me. I'm going to take their little fluffy brush which is actually so soft and it feels so nice and just kind of do this to get the excess powder off of like my eyes and stuff and just kind of put it everywhere and this feels fucking amazing dude so i'm gonna actually gonna do my eyebrows real quick um because nobody wants to hear me talk about that it's a long ass process and then we'll get ready to do some eyeshadow because i do have a new eyeshadow palette so yeah excited for that
<clears throat> eyebrows are on and you know I'm surprised they were actually working with me today do you ever just have your days when you do your eyebrows and it's just like a fucking train wreck so now we're gonna tape my eyes which I just used some scotch tape I tape my eyes because it's time to do eyeshadow ladies and gentlemen um so this new eyeshadow palette is by violent Voss it just says six color eyeshadow and pressed pigment palette okay well all it says is hashtag violet Voss so I'm gonna take a guess that that's what it's called <clears throat> so opening it up as you can see we have some neutrals we have like a nice coral color it's showing up way later on camera that is like a super bright coral color so yeah we have the color silk coral pop pretty peach champagne teddy and chocolate you know just some hashtag fall vibes if you ask me so for your brush i'm going to start off using the um js 8 brush which is just a big old fluffy dude and we're going to start with silk this really nice neutral brown to just kind of have like transition shade going on you know what i mean so we're just gonna put that kind of in the crease area so far nothing's like really showing up but that's okay because this is actually like kind of close to my skin tone um but this is just gonna make it so the eyeshadows blend better so i'm thinking like a neutral kind of eyeshadow look with like a coral pop color I think there's gonna be a way I can do this by using all the shades which is always nice I can try all them out so I'm gonna try this bottom brown color called Teddy blend that into my crease smoking it out a little bit with a very light hand so we're gonna get a little bit of a smaller brush I think this one is the JS6 and then we're gonna get this kind of like really dark brown down here in chocolate and also pack that in the crease but a little bit like don't blend it out as much if you're catching my drift so just like really pack it down in here and then I just use kind of like a windshield wiper motion so now what I'm gonna do by the way I really like these very nice blendable kind of eyeshadow which I always prefer I like the how much you can build the color so I'm gonna go in with my just like a flat brush it's the JS 10 and I'm gonna go in with champagne and we're gonna put this on the lid and you know what she ain't really showing up might have to get some setting spray on this bitch which I do for a lot of my glitter shades so it's like nothing new nothing really too pressing it's fine we're gonna go over here grab my pixie glow mist and we're gonna give my brush a little bit of a spritz. There we go. Oh yes. Yes, bro. So we got this champagne moment and now I'm gonna grab that small blendy brush again and kind of just make sure the edges are blended out with this. So I'm gonna use the other eyeshadow colors, but I'm gonna do it on the bottom of my eye because there's two more I haven't used yet. So I'm gonna do my eyeliner in ish and then we'll come back. So, did my eyeliner. I took the little stinky tape off. I want to do some stuff with my under eye. So, I'm going to grab this little skinny flat brush. It's by a no-name brand. It is like these little mermaid brushes, kind of like the knockoff of the um, Tarte ones. We're going to get this pretty peach color up here, and we're going to pack that into my waterline. I like that. So we got that in my waterline, and now we're gonna get a, a little small, like super tiny blending brush. This one is also from the Jeffree Star Morphe brushes, JS13. So now we're gonna get this coral pop color down here, this bright coral, and we're gonna put that under my eye. But I was just about to compare these to the same thing as like Anastasia eyeshadows they're a lot like that they just like blend so nicely they're really nice and buildable i love the pigment on them that's sometimes like one of my favorite eyeshadow looks is like doing a neutral eyeshadow but having some sort of a pop color this is looking a tiny bit 
harsh just because of the type of the brush I was using. So this is the uh, JS12 and we're just gonna get a little bit of the coral pop and put it on this and just make sure it's nice and blended out. What are we doing next? Powder contour. So before I go back to my eyes, I just work on the rest of my face makeup. So we're gonna get this flat angle brush from this set of brushes. And we're gonna use this for my powder contour and see how it goes. I used the Gigi Gorgeous, um, the Six Sculpt Bronzer Duo in Turned and Extra. I kind of lean more towards like the darker side. I'm feeling this in a lot of ways. I love how it's giving me that sculpted look. I really like this one. I don't really use flat angle brushes a lot, but this is like really nice. I'm sorry, I can't hear you. I'm too busy being sculpted. All right, so next we also are gonna use another one of these brushes. I think it's the only one we haven't used yet. And this is the contour blending brush, but I'm gonna use it as a blush brush. And I'm gonna use the blush Tipsy by Tarte. And I put this on like my upper cheekbones and then also on my nose a little bit. We're definitely having like a little bit of a coral neutral moment. My favorite makeup thing to do is look like I'm ill. I'm gonna put on some little stinky highlighter real quick because I don't have a highlighting brush and then we'll come back for this new crazy mascara they gave me and we'll give that a little trizzle try. Next. Next, next, next. I got this new mascara. It seems a little crazy, I'm not gonna lie. It's a mascara that comes with a curler, and I said, okay. Um, so this is the Trustique, which is the same brand as my contour stick. Good Vibes Mascara Curler Lash Enhancing Mascara. It looks like this, and then you take off this top and then apparently you flip this back and then you can curl your lashes which I feel like it's a little small but we're gonna try it. I haven't curled my lashes in a minute because I just don't really do it but I mean I want to try it so watch Maddie not know what she's doing for 20 minutes. I'm not a lash curler type of girl. Maybe I should be. Okay well I curled them. It. I think it works. Let's look at this mascara wand. Okay, so I really like how it's a skinny one because sometimes the chonky ones, I hit it all over my face and I get it everywhere. Let's see how the product is, shall we? The length is okay, but I also have tiny lashes, so we're not going to try to go too much off by the length because um, we don't have a lot to work with as it is. Like I said, I don't really care too much about mascara because I wear fat ass lashes, so it doesn't really matter to me too much, I guess. Okay, now she's cute. I mean, it's just like a basic mascara, but um, maybe if you had more lashes to work with, it would be better for you, but for me, like, this is all I got going on. And then the last thing I got is a lip gloss, and this is by Tarte and Sugar Rush. Apparently, they had, like, a little collaboration, and then this is their Lip Sip Vegan Lip Oil. Okay, sick. I love vegan shit. So this is also kind of like a pretty, almost coral color. It's a, um, the shade Fresh Pressed. I sometimes just like will wipe off excess foundation. I'll also grab my lip balm just to make sure I get all the foundation off because foundation mixed up in lip gloss is not a cute look. And then we're gonna try this out. Ooh, it has a nice thick wand, which is cute. Doesn't really have much of a smell really. It feels very um, light. You ever put on a lip gloss and it feels like you just put fucking corn syrup on your lips? No, this is cute. It doesn't really have a color to it at all. It's just like a basic lip gloss. But yes, we used all of the products, but I'm gonna say my sayonaras and also an overview with a full face of makeup on. So let me finish that real quick.
All right, everybody, I think it's safe to say that I'm done and I'm loving this. I love the kind of fall, but it's also like coral and sunny and pretty. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this. I'd say my favorite things that I got, I really like this lip gloss. Um, it's not sticky, it's not super thick, it's just like, it sits on my lips the way it should be. It's like very lightweight, I guess is the best way to put it. Eyeshadow is amazing. I really like the contour brush, the flat angle one. I didn't expect this to be one of my favorites, but I'm definitely going to use this all the time now to kind of get that more chiseled look. This was a pretty good bag this month, I don't know. My face is feeling really nice from that face mask. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this kind of layout more. I think whenever I get a ton of new makeup or a new subscription box, I'm going to just make a video of me trying out everything so you guys can see it. But I am going to head out for now. Um, I have a date to get ready for. Um, so I will see you guys next week with a new video on Thursday. So get ready for that. Alright guys, see ya!